Who wants to live below their means? Have you ever wondered why you have to live below your means? Renowned financial expert Robert Kiyosaki challenges this notion with a mind-stimulating question. Who wants to live below their means? In this intriguing discussion, I'll explore the secrets of expanding your means, unlocking multiple income streams, and achieving genuine financial abundance. Get ready to break free from conventional wisdom, adopt a fresh mindset, and embark on a transformative journey toward unparalleled financial freedom. Say goodbye to limitations and hello to a life filled with endless possibilities. In today's world, conventional wisdom often advises you to live below your means, to be frugal, and to avoid taking risks. But what if there's a different approach that could lead to greater financial success and freedom? Break free from limiting beliefs and embrace a path leading to true financial abundance and the life you desire. Hear this out. Robert and I definitely do not believe in living below our means. When we met in 1984, we had nothing. But every year we would get together at New Year's and we would set our goals, you know, health goals and this goals. But we also had asset goals, you know, what goals were we going to add every single year. So that's why it took us only about 10 years from 1984 to 1994 to become financially free. It becomes evident that they firmly believe this approach is not the most effective path to achieving financial freedom. Focus on setting goals that encompass health and personal aspirations and asset-related goals. Their intentional and strategic approach allowed the couple to attain financial freedom in just 10 years, from 1984 to 1994. The key takeaway from their experiences is that their success did not come from depriving themselves of living frugally. Instead, they emphasize making conscious decisions to invest in assets that appreciate and generate passive income. As Robert Kiyosaki once said, true wealth is derived from owning income-producing assets rather than indulging in extravagant spending or trying to keep up with a lavish lifestyle. In light of this, Robert Kiyosaki encourages you to focus on expanding your asset base while maintaining responsible spending habits. By building a portfolio of income-generating assets, you can break free from the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck and take control of your financial future. I am so impressed by their journey from humble beginnings to financial freedom, which has taught invaluable lessons about strategic planning, disciplined investing, and the significance of setting clear, asset-focused goals. By learning from their experiences and insights, you can embark on a similar path toward financial prosperity and live a life of abundance and fulfillment. You'll dive into a pressing question. How many people today find themselves living below their means? Are you among them? Robert Kiyosaki challenges this notion, urging you to reconsider your approach to finances. Not like living below your means. No, no, no. no. That's no fun. It kills people's spirits. Now, why would you want to live below your means? But many people have to, unfortunately, because the Fed is printing so much money that taxes and inflation go up, which means people are forced to live below their means. Living below your means can indeed be disheartening and limiting. I understand the frustration of feeling compelled to do so due to factors beyond our control, like rising taxes and inflation. Maintaining a fulfilling life is challenging when financial constraints hold us back. However, finding ways to adapt and thrive in such circumstances is essential. Exploring new avenues of income and wise investments can help you break free from this cycle and achieve financial security and abundance. Take charge of your financial journey, empower yourself with knowledge, and strive for a future where you can live comfortably without being constrained by external factors. Together, you can find the path to true financial freedom and reclaim the joy and spirit that come with living life to the fullest. The key here is to elevate your means rather than live below them. The idea is not to accumulate credit card debt, but to increase your financial capacity to live the life you desire. Free from financial constraints, it's puzzling that when seeking financial advice, the focus is often on cutting expenses rather than exploring ways to expand your income and opportunities. Instead, you should focus on adding assets and embracing the thrill and excitement of building wealth. 
By continuously growing your financial resources, you unlock one of the best kept secrets to achieving a fulfilling and abundant life. Break free from the limitations of living below your means and embark on a journey of financial growth and prosperity. Getting rich is fun. It is fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And you know, if we want to buy a luxury, if we want to buy a new car, we first buy an asset. So we buy the asset and the cash flow from the asset pays for the payment for the car. Yes. So that it's, it's again, never living below your means. It's expanding your means through acquiring assets that give you cash flow that gives us all those good things in life. The Kiyosaki couple's approach to financial freedom is nothing short of awe-inspiring. They have cracked the code by understanding the power of assets over liabilities. Instead of living under the constraints of debt and limited means, they have chosen to focus on acquiring income-generating assets. And guess what? You can do it too. Their mindset of abundance and growth is the key to unlocking their full financial potential. Imagine watching your wealth grow and your financial worries melt away as you build a portfolio of assets that work for you. It's time to say goodbye to living below your means and hello to a life of prosperity and fulfillment. So have some fun together on this journey to wealth building. Get ready to seize every opportunity, expand your means, and take control of your financial destiny. With the Kido Saki couple as your inspiration, you can create a life filled with richness and success. Cheers to embracing their wisdom and enjoying a truly rich and fulfilling life. Before delving into the tips for avoiding living below your means, let's explore Robert Kiyosaki's explanation of the four paths to wealth. According to him, some paths are more efficient than others. Here are the key takeaways. Takeaway number one, the cash flow quadrant. Understanding the cash flow quadrant, paths to financial success. The cash flow quadrant categorizes wealth sources into four quadrants, employee, small business owner and self-employed, big business owner and investor. First quadrant, employee. Seeks job security and climbs the corporate ladder. Second quadrant, small business owner and self-employed. Values control and specializes in a demanding field. Third quadrant, big business owner. Aims for freedom by creating profitable business systems. Fourth quadrant, investor seeks freedom through strategic money allocation for maximum returns. This model helps to grasp different approaches to financial success and make informed decisions for financial goals. Takeaway number two, other people's time and other people's money. Leverage OPT and OPM for success. The key difference between the left and right sides of the cash flow quadrant is the use of OPT and OPM. Those in the B quadrant utilize OPT and OPM to build successful businesses, while individuals in the I quadrant generate income by leveraging their money and, if skilled, other people's money. Understanding and using OPT and OPM can lead to greater financial success and freedom. Takeaway number three, making informed financial decisions. When it comes to living below your means, it's essential to consider the unique advantages and challenges in each quadrant of the cash flow model. For employees or E-quadrant, the pros include reduced financial uncertainty and access to benefits like health insurance. However, success often means an increased workload and less free time. It's crucial for employees to balance their expenses and save for the future to live within their means. Small business owners and self-employed individuals, or S-Quadrant, enjoy being their own bosses and earning based on performance. But like employees, they may face the challenge of balancing work and personal lives. To live below their means, they must manage their business expenses wisely and plan for financial stability. Big business owners, or B-Quadrant, have the advantage of leveraging other people's time and other people's money to achieve financial freedom. However, this quadrant requires a different set of team management skills. To maintain financial balance, it's crucial for big business owners to reinvest profits wisely and avoid excessive spending. Investors, or I-Quadrant, also benefit from leveraging OPT and OPM for financial freedom. They can achieve passive income and higher returns on investments. However, 
there's always a risk of financial uncertainty and potential losses. Investors must diversify their investments and practice sound risk management to live below their means. Understanding these pros and cons empowers individuals to make informed financial decisions that align with their goals and preferences. Whether you're an employee, small business owner, big business owner, or investor, living below your means involves mindful budgeting, strategic investment choices, and preparing for the future. Takeaway number four, breaking the addiction, transitioning to the right side. The right side of the cash flow quadrant offers the fastest path to financial freedom. However, shifting to this side can be challenging due to the addictive nature of money and mental obstacles. Money, like addictive substances, can create a strong attachment to a specific quadrant, making it difficult to transition to a new one. Family upbringing and societal values may also hinder the process, while mental obstacles like fear of risks, failure, and doubts about money's impact on happiness can impede progress. The educational system's focus on avoiding mistakes contrasts with the B and I quadrants, where action and learning from mistakes are essential. Surrounding yourself with successful individuals from the B and I quadrants can greatly aid the transition process. While the journey may be challenging, seeking guidance from experienced individuals and adopting a growth mindset can set you on the path to success in the B and I quadrants. Now that you've learned those takeaways, let's explore Robert Kiyosaki's frugal tips. 1. Prioritize financial education. Prioritize financial education to understand money better. Knowledge empowers you to make informed decisions about your finances and investments. To break free from living below your means, focus on financial education and shift your focus to the B and I quadrants. Increase your assets by investing wisely and creating passive income streams. By doing so, you can gain control over your financial destiny and enjoy the benefits of financial abundance and freedom. So, take a step towards financial education and embrace the path of increasing your means through smart asset acquisition. 2. Differentiate Assets and Liabilities Learn to differentiate between assets and liabilities. Focus on acquiring assets that generate income rather than accumulating liabilities that drain your finances. The key to increasing your means lies in understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. Many people struggle financially because they lack financial education and end up acquiring liabilities instead of assets. Whether you're a doctor, lawyer, accountant, or any other profession, without financial literacy, it's easy to fall into the trap of buying things that don't contribute to your wealth. Assets are what truly increase your means. These are income-generating entities, not just houses or cars. By acquiring more assets, you create streams of passive income that can elevate your financial status. On the other hand, liabilities, like excessive debt and non-income-producing possessions, can hold you back and force you to live below your means. 3. Avoid excessive debt. Be cautious with debt. While some debt can be beneficial for investments, avoid excessive borrowing that may burden you with high interest payments. Debt is a four-letter word for most people. There are many people in my position, so-called financial gurus, who say live totally debt-free. And there's other people who say, cut up your credit cards. And you know that's good advice for certain types of people. So you should definitely cut up your credit cards if you don't know, you can't control your spending. Early in his career, Kiyosaki was trapped in a credit card debt cycle. He had accumulated significant balances on multiple cards, making it challenging to manage his finances effectively. The burden of high interest payments was eating away at his income and limiting his financial growth. Realizing the detrimental impact of this debt, Kiyosaki made a commitment to break free from the credit card trap. He started cutting unnecessary expenses and focused on paying off his debts diligently. This financial awakening led him to adopt a more frugal lifestyle, prioritizing smart investments over impulsive spending. Kiyosaki's journey taught him the importance of using credit responsibly and avoiding unnecessary debt. He now advocates for the conscious use of credit cards, 
using them only for essential purchases and paying off the balance in full each month to avoid accruing interest. 4. Mindful Spending If you want to live beyond your means, be mindful of your spending habits, try to prioritize needs over wants, and avoid unnecessary splurges. Prioritizing essentials over unnecessary splurges allows us to have better control over our finances. Creating a budget encompassing necessary expenses and discretionary spending is another crucial step. By allocating your resources wisely, you can ensure to have enough for what truly matters while avoiding wasteful expenditures. Kiyosaki advocates embracing frugality by seeking discounts and considering the purchase of used items when appropriate. These small changes in our spending behavior can lead to significant financial control, security, and the freedom to save for important goals, such as education, retirement, or building a business. 5. Embrace frugality. It's all about being smart with your money. Start by cutting down on non-essential expenses. Those small daily expenditures can really add up. By making these little changes, you'll see significant savings over time. Let's make financial freedom our goal. He emphasizes that those seemingly insignificant daily expenditures can actually add up to significant amounts over time. By making these small changes and being mindful of where your money goes, you can witness the power of cumulative savings. Robert's wisdom encourages you to set financial freedom as your ultimate goal and take proactive steps toward achieving it. And the words are, I want to do what I love. That's the track. You see, in real life, sometimes you have to do what you hate. Like people think I like to write books. I hate writing books. But it fills my purpose in life. It's not my passion, my purpose in life. Six, set financial goals. It's like setting clear financial goals to fulfill your purpose in life. It's essential to know what we want to achieve financially. Think about both short-term and long-term objectives. Once we've got them in mind, let's create a solid plan to reach those goals. You gain a clear sense of direction by envisioning your financial dreams and aspirations. Kiyosaki encourages you to create a solid plan that aligns with your goals. This plan becomes your roadmap to financial success, guiding you through various financial decisions and challenges. You can transform your dreams into reality with determination and the right mindset. Robert Kiyosaki's teachings remind you that financial success is attainable when you set your intentions, plan strategically, and take action. 7. Build multiple income streams. Yes, that's right. Diversifying your income streams can bring you stability and security, especially during economic ups and downs. So, explore various ways to boost your income and create a stronger financial foundation for yourself. Kiyosaki has practiced what he preaches by venturing into various business ventures, investments, and writing best-selling books. His ability to generate income from different sources has provided him with financial freedom and allowed him to weather economic fluctuations with ease. 8. Invest wisely. When it comes to making investment decisions, remember to be strategic. Do your research and analysis before diving in. It's always a good idea to seek advice from financial experts too. Explore different investment options and make informed choices. With a little smart planning, you can grow your wealth wisely. Remember, taking the time to strategize and educate ourselves in the world of investments can yield significant rewards in the long run. 9. Avoid impulse spending. Resist that temptation. Instead, give yourself some time to think before making purchases. Consider how they'll affect your finances in the long run. Being mindful of your spending will lead to better financial choices. Robert Kiyosaki's wisdom stems from his own journey to financial success. He emphasizes the significance of taking a step back and thinking critically about each financial decision. Doing so can avoid impulsive spending and prioritize investments that align with your long-term goals. So the next time you're tempted to make an impulse purchase, remember Robert Kiyosaki's advice and give yourself time to think. Your financial future will thank you for it. 10. Prepare for emergencies. It's important to have an emergency fund for those unexpected expenses. 
unexpected expenses can arise at any moment, and having a safety net provides peace of mind during challenging times. With this fund, you won't have to rely on credit cards or take out loans to handle unforeseen situations. It empowers you to face uncertainties with confidence and financial stability. So, take Robert Kiyosaki's advice to heart and start saving for that safety cushion today. It may require discipline and sacrifice, but the security it offers is well worth the effort. As you build your emergency fund, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment and gratitude, knowing you have a buffer against life surprises. 11. Review and Adjust Keep an eye on your finances regularly, review your financial situation, and be ready to adjust your budget and investment strategy as necessary. Just like Robert Kiyosaki, you should always have time to review his financial situation frequently. Flexibility is a key attribute of successful financial planning, as it allows you to navigate various economic conditions confidently. As you diligently monitor your finances and make informed adjustments, you will be on the path to financial stability and growth. Following this piece of advice, inspired by Robert Kiyosaki's own experiences and teachings, can lead you to greater financial freedom and a brighter future. Remember, the journey to financial success is all about being proactive and adaptable. In a world where mediocrity often prevails, it's time to break free from the shackles of living below our true potential. Many people settle for less, fearing the unknown and playing it safe. But the key to financial success lies in stepping out of our comfort zones and embracing growth. Budgeting and cutting expenses can be essential, but they're only part of the story. You need to think strategically, envisioning a future of abundance and prosperity. Instead of saying, I can't afford it, you'll say, how can I afford it? This shift in mindset expands your possibilities and opens doors to opportunities you never thought possible. Financial education is often lacking in our education system, leaving us ill-prepared to make informed financial decisions. We're told to save money in banks and invest in mutual funds, but is that truly the path to financial freedom? It's time to challenge the status quo and take control of our finances. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Finance Zoom channel. I'll see you in the next video.